Hey, T-Squad, how you doing? It's your girl, Keisha, and I am back with a brand new All T All Shade video. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful, glorious day. You know, I love my boo-boos. We are a family over here. Make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and turn on your notification bell button so you know when my videos drop. And if you love your girl and you want to be nice, hit that super thank you button and donate to the channel. But let's get into today's bit of tea. Martel Holt is in the news once again for his shenanigans. I mean, he been quiet for a little minute. You know, he been on social media begging for jobs. <laughs> in a minute, he going to be standing on the goddamn corner with a sign saying we'll work for food. But um, he recently got into the comments section on Hollywood Unlocks Instagram page coming for Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox, as we all know, is on Fox Soul and she's on a panelist show with her self, Claudia Jordan, Elisa Ray McCoy and Selena Johnson. And the topic on this specific day was the recent passing of the controversial figure, Kevin Samuels. Well, in uh, the segment when they were talking about him, Vivica was quoted as saying, when karma comes knocking at your door, she might not be so kind. You know, uh, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. I was not a fan of his. I did not pay that man any attention. I scrolled past any of his foolishness, his nonsense. I never tuned into his YouTube channel or anything that was associated with him because he was literally an idiot um, and he was doing the work of the devil and I didn't want to have no bit of that in my life. So when I heard of his passing, for me, it was all like, oh, sad that he passed. You know, I feel for his family, but that was about it because his views on um, black women were just terrible, horrible. So, I mean, you know, that's about it. That's all I got for him. Well, um, Martel decided, you know, to get into the comment section and come at Vivica instead of being on monster.com and finding him a J-O-B. <laughs> so he got into the comment section and said, he said, you sound so foolish, exclamation mark, to be this bothered and speaking ill of a man that was in entertainment and spoke his opinion says a lot about you. First of all, you ain't at her. <laughs> you talking all that shit, but you ain't at her. Mm -hmm. You ain't that bout it, bout it, and ride it, ride it, Mr. Martell Holt. And you are the last person that needs to be commenting on anything when it comes to black women and how black women feel or how black women were talked about because you and Kevin Samuel, Kevin Samuels were literally in the same goddamn boat with one another. Y'all could have been goddamn scissor sisters as far as I'm I'm concerned well the people in the comment section was not having it and ate his ass the fuck up as they should and they added him unlike you and your punk pussy ass you ain't at vivica so i'm gonna read you some of the comments that were said back to aunt tail <laughs> so perfect pisces 9414 said uh-uh, you got to pick your battles wisely. You're going to lose this one. That girl underscore Sasha added him and said, hush your foolishness. <laughs> Sexy after underscore 30 said, Martell Holt, you don't even need to be commenting. Go sit in the corner on this one. Our pictures are perfect. Added Martell and said, child, your baby mama be online putting on lip gloss while that baby hollering, talking about being suicidal. And how you give her oral sex looking like a fool. Save that energy for her. Baby, she cut him to the white meat with that one because Lord knows that's the truth. And my video on Aragon Curry Goat and her horrible parenting skills will be posted today. Um, another... Uh, person said your behavior towards your ex-wife and you defending this man is no surprise child another person said what was foolish about your second baby mama what her name again <laughs> then the dragation continued another person said you're a clown with clown emojis 
Then somebody else said, when you die, the same thing will be said. So hush. Oh, ooh, that was cruel. Oh, I wouldn't have went there. I don't, I don't wish death on nobody. I mean, the person didn't wish death. But, oh, Jesus, I mean, it was factual, but damn. Somebody else said, Martel Ho, not a certified narcissist, cheating liar, commenting, your opinion is not welcome, blessing. Uh, then somebody else said, you're the last person to even speak. I don't wish death on anyone or speak ill of the dead, but this was a man that criticized black women, especially dark skinned women. Your comment speaks a lot for a man that has three daughters and a dark skinned girlfriend. Ooh. And I, ooh, you better tell him, honey. You better tell him. That was the read of the motherfucking century. Because, yes, nigga, you got three daughters that you need to be uplifting and telling them not to even listen to or think of or speak of or even acknowledge a man like Kevin Samuel. Oh, and the ladies weren't done with his ass. They was ragtagging his ass. They was literally high-fiving each other and passing the torch. Another one said... Sit this one out, Martell. Ariane been on your ass too much these past few days, sweetie. You been out here looking foolish. Now, I don't look at all of her lies, so I guess she been on her talking shit about Martell, child. And I, I don't blame her. Don't care, really. Drag his ass. He drag you. Y'all just drag each other. And then uh, Forever Bless underscore Grace and Mercy 72 said, At Martell Ho, you know you have no room, sir. Bye. What she said was her opinion about a man that spoke ignorant information. You have three black daughters, fool. <laughs> You think if they have children and their relationship fails because of a no good ass cheater like you, she as a black woman is useless to another man or relationship? Baby. Yes, he deserved all of those reads. He needs to go sit the fuck down. He needs to go on Yahoo <laughs> and try to find his ass a goddamn gig because... You had too much time on your hands that day when you should have been correcting and perfecting your resume, sir, because I'm so sick of seeing your ass begging for opportunities and jobs and posting pictures of your ass and these two little goddamn gap baby gap suits, sir. So you need to figure out how you're going to pay all this child support for all your goddamn kids, Negro, and put that Peter Weeder up so you don't have no more that you can't take care of. Child, let me know what y'all thought about Martell getting his ass whipped so on social media. Um, let's talk down below in the comment section. You guys, make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I will see you on the next video. Peace. Sorry, do I know you? Oh, it looks like your friend Dad's caught a little amnesia, huh? So maybe I can get your number, take you out the When it comes to somebody like Rock, this is his lifestyle. This is who he is. Who are you, Rock? And what do you want from me? Are you some kind of kingpin? You probably get the fan that you, you motherfucker coming from. This time I can't do shit to bother you. And they're not gonna stop until they get me. And if not me, the next in charge. And that will be you. To my fiance car. It's something different about him, and I know that he has a girl, but everything about him just says that he's supposed to be mine. Like, I can honestly feel it. Man, I see you out here doing big things, man. Being here with you was really, really making me happy. I feel the same way, too. When I get home, I got a lot to handle. You do, too. I know you got a man. Dirty, dingy ass motel room like this, bro. It's right here. 
This is our reality. Get out! We both knew this was each other. We got something special. I have to save myself. Don't touch me again. You know what's happening. Get out! Get out! All my life, I've been waiting for somebody to save me. I knew that it was gonna be you. Oh, I can't seem to let you go.